All right, what is up everyone? It's Sam from 64 Wheels, back with more diecast, and I have five Hot Wheels trucks today that are absolutely killer. So um, I don't know if a lot of people collect these truck lines. Um, this is the Super Rigs line. They're like $6.99 or $7.99 now. They include a truck, a trailer, and then a car. They make a ton of different ones. Um, and then these smaller ones, I believe, are Track Stars or Tracking Trucks. It's kind of hard to find the actual name because they don't say the name of them on the car card like they do the Super Rigs here. Whoop. Um, but these are awesome. So uh, luckily I stumbled upon a whole wave of 2022s at Walmart the other day and I wanted to do them all and do a giant truck unboxing video um, for you. So I'm really pumped about these. I've been waiting to do it since I found them. Yes, I wanted to rip them all open, but I was like, I can't, I gotta make a video. These are awesome. So the first one is the Scania, I believe how it's saying, rally truck. This is blue. This is the third version we've got of this truck. Uh, the first one was yellow, really good looking truck. Um, the second one had a red cab and then the back was like white graffiti. Uh, this one I think is probably my favorite one. I really like the yellow one, but the blue looks excellent. The card art is awesome. So these are trucks that are a little bit oversized and some of them come with the trailers like the Seaman Gleeman right here. Um, but they're meant for the track as they show on the card art. So these are meant to be played with on the track or at least certain tracks. So. Um, they don't have a lot of information on the back of the card like both of these have the same um, information and then this one actually has the moving part of the little trailer going back and forth so i've opened these before i know how that one works the steam and gleeman has no special feature it's just hardcore so let's go ahead and bust this one open take a look at it so in my area at least we have been having a horrible time finding uh, premiums, main lines, whatever. Like, so I found that since I collect the other lines, a lot of people don't collect these other lines and I have um, less of a problem finding trucks or monster trucks or other things because a lot of the collectors go right by them, but they shouldn't because these are absolutely awesome, especially for the money. So here's a Scania rally truck, rally truck, I can't even say it. Um, really good blue color. Like, look at the detail, all the lights, the yellow tinted windows. Um, I like the little warning across. It reminds me of Ghostbusters 2 of the Ecto-1, 1A. Uh, it's got the headlights up there. Really aggressive looking truck. Uh, it sits pretty tall. Like this is a pretty big truck overall. Like here I have a uh, one of the Target Decades Camaros or whatever. Like this is big enough to put, well not this car, but you can put a car in it. Like look how big it is compared to a regular mainline. Pretty good size. So this has a trailer that comes out and then you can actually haul a car with it. Like now you actually can put a car in it, um, but it's a little tricky because it's not sized correctly. So, I mean, it, you gotta be really careful turning or it'll, it'll pop it right off. But um, if you had like a little four wheeler or something else in there, I could fit, it's, it would work. So this part is metal. Um, so is the cab of the truck and then the rest of it's plastic, but it has a, a detailed interior there. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little hard to see because of the shadow, but it has like some gas cans. Um, like a fire extinguisher, some other things. And then this slides up into that little hole right there and then clicks in so it doesn't fall out, which I think is awesome. So um, if you're into trucks, excellent play value on this one because of the moving part. It has an extra axle there, so I feel like you get your money's worth, especially with this one. This is an awesome casting, and I hope we see a lot more versions to come on this one. This would be cool to see in a team transport box or something. I really like this casting, so that's a winner for me. The next one is the Steam and Gleeman. I saw this and I have no idea how to explain this truck. This is like a train, steampunk, semi truck, Back to the Future 3, Wild Wild West. This thing is wild. Like I don't, I mean, it even looks like Mad Max a little bit. So there's really no explanation of what it is other than just an outrageous casting. So when I was slipping through the pegs, the like bronze, um, chrome or copper color. It's it's orange in real life. It might be coming off a little bit pink in the camera. It's hard to tell, but this thing looks so wild. I mean, it's it's definitely worth picking up some of the weirder castings because I think like, I mean, how many people are gonna actually have this in their collection? They're probably gonna have a lot of RLC stuff. You're gonna have um, supers, other main lines, but not a lot of people are gonna buy this, which I think they should because look how cool that is. Like, look at the trailer. That is wild. So there you can see it has like a lot of copper or um, bronze. I don't know what to call it really. It almost looks more orange in real life. Um, but there it has an open cabin, almost like a freight train 
like an old school freight train. A lot of detail going around it, but very Mad Max in the front. Like that looks super intimidating. Um, but to me, again, that looks like a truck. That looks like a train. So it's almost like a, a yard truck train. But um, the cool part is too, it has a trailer. Like look how intricate all those tampos are. And they're like textured. That's really nice. Cool. So let's see if a car will fit in this one. Oh, it actually will. So you can actually haul a car in this one. So this would be cool to do like the, uh, I'm probably going to butcher the name because I can't remember it exactly. The Erickson rod or one of the rat rod hot wheels, like a bone uh, shaker or something like that would be awesome back here. This is a wild looking casting. I'm serious. Like, I don't know if Hot Wheels has made something this outrageous. I know a couple of the cars or trucks in this line are pretty crazy, but this has probably got to be one of the crazier ones that they've made. This is a, a wild, wild fancy casting, but I'm really blown away at the quality of the tampos on that. Like all that like detailing is very nice. So this is one you have to see in real life, I think, to appreciate all the details on it. Look at that steam and gleaming. So if you see this one, definitely be on the eye out for it because it's pretty wild. Of course, these all roll pretty well because they're like mainline style where it have plastic wheels. So you shouldn't have any, any trouble rolling these around. So next up, we have three new super rigs. So this one, I'm very, very excited about uh, opening because this has one of the coolest like moving parts features of any car that they've made in a long time. So this is the haul duration. So this is Hot Wheels take on a transformer truck and it comes with the Zumbot or Zumbot, whatever the actual name is. Um, just a really colorful, really cool thing. So on the back of this one, um, these cards are a little more detailed. So there you can see the whole truck with the actual car figure and there it shows all the different ones going across that they're <laughs> releasing. Um, I don't know if I can show them all tuned up. That's a really cool one. Trasher basher, trash basher, which I have to open here. The halteration, um, the red planet transport, which is like a Mars rover. Very cool one. The sky show rig, with the, which comes with an airplane. And then the rat rig, which I have to open this time too. So there you can see um, all the little details in this. So there's a couple moving parts to this one to put it all together. So I'm very, very excited about open this one. So. Um, let me know in the comments too if you buy any of this line or if you have any of the of the like track stars trucks or super rigs because i bought them for a while i enjoy them um like i've showed that i can't remember what it was called the uh something cruising illusion i think the like little magic truck car i really like that truck so this is so cool so not only like there you can kind of see like the transformer head and body is pretty apparent right there so um, the truck itself almost looks like one of the airport, like little tram things that they hook uh, airplanes to and then pull them across the yard. Uh, this is pretty wild. So, okay, so man, look at the bottom of that thing. That is wild. Very cool. Okay, so this supposedly pops off from the truck, just like that. And then the truck itself is pretty cool. And then these fold down, these are like the wings for it. And then here's the, the head. So I think it just folds down like that. Um, these fold out to be arms. And then this, I'm gonna see how, let's see. Looks like right here maybe, mm. oh, here it is. So this goes in there like that. Yeah, just like that. So it has like wings on it. And I believe the little zoom bot guy goes in there. Yeah, so it's like a huge, transformer truck like look how awesome that is that's so cool they did a pretty good job on it too or is that that oh no that's the head look at that there's the face oh sweet so it's like a robot inside of a robot this thing is cool man i really like this so let me see if i can sand it up there without the guy yeah that is awesome That is so cool. So even if you're not into this line, like playing with them on tracks, like this is definitely one to get and put on your desk or sit up for display because that is so cool. So also we'll take a look at the little Zumbot. So it is a little heavy when you put the metal of the car back there and it wants to fall over. So definitely keep your uh, Zumbot or Zumbot handy. So man, the detail on this guy is cool too. Metal chassis, really nice like blued color. I really like that. Blue wheels, again, these are usually good on track. Anything with metal chassis, plastic body, I think are usually pretty good on track too. So very nice. It's 
It's got that big robot gun. Sweet, I really, really like that. That is so cool. We'll see if he'll stand up here on the side the whole time. Awesome, so the next one is the rat rig. So this is like a rat rod, hot rod truck. This thing looks awesome. And there's some cool detailing on the back here um, that I'm pretty excited about. So this one's pretty simple. It's just your standard car, truck, hauler, pull up on it, pretty easy stuff here. So the last one I'm really excited about, that one over there too. Let's take a look at this rat rig. Man, look how big this sucker is. I'm gonna bump it up so you can see it. Nice. So it says Hot Wheels, stripes and letters. I can't read what the other one is. So it has some really nice pinstriping on the door here. This huge double engine, like look at the skull on the front. Hardcore. So this is like a gloss black, but it actually has some like gray in it. So it's not totally black. But that skull on the front, it's so hard to see. Um, I'm going to try to, there you can see, kind of see it a little. You have to have tons of light because of the shadows on it. But this truck looks great. Man, I don't know if I would even call it a truck. Would you call this a truck? I mean, I guess it looks like a truck. But the double axles are awesome. Nice five-spoke gray wheels. Metal chassis and metal body, actually. So this is metal and this is metal right here. So that is a huge piece of metal. All the rest of the stuff is plastic, but those engines are awesome. Man, that's cool. So um, back here, it's just a regular truck and trailer. I like the chain detail and there is a little like rat molded into it for like the rat rig. That is awesome. So back here, even through the package, um, I thought they did a really good job on the rust patina on this. Cause there, you can almost see it looks textured because it is, it feels textured going along along it so i feel like hot wheels has really stepped up their tampo game with some of these and maybe because they are a bigger surface this allows them to do some things they couldn't do on like the main line but look at that that's actual like textured it looks like real rust even though this is plastic man that's cool awesome rig so i can't remember what this one is called Bone speeder, that's right. So this has come with like, I have a lot of these with slick wheels, but I don't know if I have any with these dirt style wheels on it, which is pretty cool. Again, it has the same tempo as the truck, so it matches very nicely. Um, rolls super well, same with this truck, very nice. This might actually be good on, on the track too because of how much metal it is. So, whoop, there it goes right there. And there you have both. So this is a great looking truck. Man, look at that. Well worth the money. Let's see if it fits better this way. Oh, nope, you gotta put it in this way. It's actually kind of weird, because I don't actually think this truck fits that well on it, like the, or the car. It's actually sticking out past the sides a little bit, but it doesn't matter. Super cool, put whatever you want on there. I love that it matches. Either way, it'll sit on there, so awesome. Let's pull that sucker over there. Let's get all the rigs over here. Awesome, okay. So lastly, we have the Trash Basher. And I'm super excited about this. This is one that I really, really liked. I saw it online. I was super pumped that I actually found it in stores. It's huge. I, th I feel like it's longer than the other two. It's got a lot of weight to it, and it looks awesome. Like, look at that card art. So this one, um, I haven't really quite figured out what the special, like, it has this little bar, and apparently it flips down, and then you can put the car in, and it flips up like you're loading trash or recycling. So I think that's what, like, superpower it has. Um, but overall, this thing looks killer. It's got the little hot rodded total disposal truck that matches it. Really, really like this. So I'm, I'm really pumped to open this one. Cool, let's do it. These open horribly, like these cards are not ripping very well, but it doesn't matter. Uh, nice, look at that. Hot Wheels Waste Management. I really like this casting, and it looks good in white and green. Very nice with the yellow uh, lined wheels. Very cool. Metal chassis, plastic body. Um, this is more of like a cartoon casting, but I love it. This is this is a great fantasy casting. So here it is right here, the Trash Basher. Oh, it's got a little plastic thing in here. It's actually like an uncut bubble from the card. That's awesome. So here's the truck overall. This thing looks cool. So again, big metal. There's This whole thing is metal right here. The rest of it's plastic. 
Um, really good graphics on it. Tons of wheels on this thing. Uh, the body up here is metal, and then the rest of it, this has a plastic chassis, but that thing looks so sinister. Man, that's hot rotted awesome. With that huge engine, that exhaust stack. Whoop. Man, that's cool. Rolls pretty well. Okay, so let's take a look at this, the actual special power. Okay, so it just, oh, cool, okay. So it, it double folds down, if you see that. So then it pulls up. So how they show it, let's see if I can put it down here. So they show it like this, and then you put the truck like that, I guess, is what it shows on the card. And then you lift it up, and then it falls into it, I guess. I guess that's the, the special power, the special feature of it. Um, and then it can, I guess you can just dump it out too. It's cool. It might take some work to see what you, like what works best because I don't know, to me that doesn't really, it says move it up and down, I don't know. Yeah, I guess you just put it on there like that and then flip it up. But it actually works and then you drive away. So that's cool. I still really like it. The Maybe the movement isn't as cool as I thought it was, but overall I think this is still my favorite just because how it looks. The I do like the double motion of it too in the truck. The total disposal is such a cool casting to go with it. So, man, I like that. Winner. That's a winner for me. Very cool. I like that. So... Man, that was a good five trucks. So let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. I think a lot of people, the halteration, I think is going to be a favorite um, for a lot of people. But let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. I like them. Like I said, I like the recycling truck, the trash basher. I think that's a really good one. Um, but they're all winners. So you can't go wrong with any of them. I think the value is there. I think the, the coolness factor is there. The track factor is there for a lot of them. So, man, I like them. I, I'm a huge fan of this. I still like this trash truck a lot. Even the uh, halteration is pretty cool, too. So let me know which ones are your favorite ones in the comments. I appreciate you watching. Uh, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, at 64 Wheels, Langley Group, uh, a couple other places. I am trying to get a website going. Um, to post some of my stuff and like have a house for videos um, in case something ever happens to YouTube I'm gonna like link it there, um, but uh, keep subscribing to the YouTube. I got a ton more videos coming I got a ton more diecast a lot more uploads. So uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys